I'm Kevin Kupchinski, Planetarium and STEM Educator at the Science Museum. Today, we'll look at a sign of spring in the night sky. We're now looking at a view to the northeast in April, about an hour after sunset, courtesy of the program Stellarium. Here, we can find the Big Dipper, and by following the outer stars of the bowl in a straight line, we can find the North Star and the Little Dipper. So where's our sign of spring? Let's return to the handle of the Big Dipper, which forms a curve or an arc. If we follow the arc, we get to a star that might appear a little orange if you see it in a dark sky. This is the star Arcturus. In star watching, we say, follow the arc to Arcturus. When we can follow the arc just at the onset of darkness and find Arcturus just above the horizon, it is about the time of the spring equinox. So this has been seen as a sign of spring by past cultures. By April, Arcturus appears well above the horizon as we see it here. Arcturus is the brightest star in the constellation of Bootes, whose other bright stars form a kite-like shape. Other people see this as an ice cream cone with a triangular cone and a scoop of ice cream. However, Bootes is neither a kite flyer or an ice cream vendor, but rather a herdsman or shepherd. To see why, we need to return to the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper is not a constellation on its own. It is the tail and rear of the great bear, Ursa Major. Up above, we can see the bear's head, a front leg with toes, and a back leg with toes. So we have a head, a body, a tail, a back leg, and a front leg. Well, there's a bear in the sky. So we need someone to chase the bear and keep everyone safe. Where would we put this person? Right behind the bear, right where the stars of Bootes are located. So these stars do not look like a shepherd, but they are in the right place to be a shepherd and chase the bear. Indeed, the name Arcturus is derived from bear follower. Take a break in the early evening in April and find this sign that spring is here. 